Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a beautiful and kind-hearted girl, named Cinderella. Cinderella's mother, had passed away very long ago. So, her father had brought her up. One day, Cinderella's father remarried. Her father's new wife and her two stepsisters moved to Cinderella's house. From then, Cinderella's life had changed significantly. Her stepmother and her two daughters were extremely jealous of Cinderella's beauty and kind heart. Cinderella's stepsisters were not beautiful as she was, and they were evil-hearted and rude. One fine day, Cinderella's father had to leave on for a long journey to other country. And that was the time when Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters turned her life into a living hell. Cinderella, from today, you will live in the attic, and you will do all the housework. Helplessly Cinderella did what she was told, she packed her stuff and moved to the attic. After that day, Cinderella began to do all the housework, all on her own. She used to get very tired, but neither her stepmother or her stepsisters felt sorry for her. One day in the kingdom, an announcement was made. Our prince will be holding a ball at the castle. All the girls who are eligible for marriage are invited to this ball. As soon as the stepsisters heard about this event, they ran home and told their mother. Mother was greedy and said, You will be the most beautiful girls at the ball. The prince must pick one of you. We must get some gowns and shoes for you girls. The stepmother and stepsisters left the house for shopping. With a sad face, Cinderella stood there and watched. The preparations went on for days. Every day, they would go in front of the mirror and tell themselves, We will be the most beautiful girls in the ball. Finally, the big day had arrived. All day Cinderella helped her stepsisters get ready. Towards the evening, they had finished all their preparations for the ball. Cinderella built up all her courage and asked her stepmother, Can I come to the ball too, please? With funny voice, her stepmother said, This ball is not for the maid, my dear, so you cannot come. Her stepmother and her stepsisters made their way to the castle. And all on her own at home, Cinderella began to cry, and asked herself, Why can't I go to the castle too? If my parents were here, none of this would have happened. Right at that moment, a very bright light appeared. Cinderella did not understand what it was. Suddenly, a beautiful fairy appeared, in the middle of the light. Cinderella could not believe her eyes, the fairy was her mother. My beautiful child Cinderella, don't cry. You two will go to the ball at the castle. Cinderella was very happy, to see her mother. Mother! How can I go to the ball? Just look at me. Do not worry, I'm here to help you. Now, go to the garden, and bring me a pumpkin and seven mice. Cinderella could not understand why she wanted these things, but still she did as she was told. 
First, she went to the garden, and grabbed a big pumpkin. Then she went to the attic, got her mice friends. With her magic wand, her mother turned the pumpkin into a beautiful horse carriage. Then she turned the mice into beautiful white horses. Then touched her with the magic wand. Cinderella's old dress turned into a beautiful gown. Surprised Cinderella said, I look like a princess. Now it is time to go to the ball, but don't forget. You must be home when the clock strikes midnight. Cinderella listened to the, her mother very carefully and started to the ball. When Cinderella entered through the grand doors to the ballroom, all the eyes were on her. Her stepmother and even her stepsisters could not recognize her. Suddenly, the prince appeared on the stairs. Cinderella really stood out amongst all the young women at the ball. The prince saw Cinderella and fell in love with the first sight of this beautiful young woman. With everyone watching curiously, he began walking down the stairs and slowly approached her. The stepsisters were very excited because the prince coming towards them. But the prince passed on by and stopped in front of Cinderella. Most beautiful young lady, would you please allow and dance with me? Cinderella raised her head politely and accepted. The prince and Cinderella began to dance amongst the curious looks of all the invitees. They dance non-stop all night long. Of course, Cinderella could not feel how time had passed. Suddenly, the big clock caught her eye. It was almost midnight. Right at that moment, Cinderella remembered her mother's warning. With a panic Cinderella began to run and left the prince behind. When she was running down the stairs, she dropped one of her shoes. She did not even have time to go back and collect it. The prince ran after her and stopped when he spotted her shoe on the stairs. Find the owner of this shoe, even if you have to travel the whole country, just find her. The prince's men went door to door in the kingdom and looked for the young girl who owned this shoe. But the shoe did not fit any of these girls. At last, the prince men came to Cinderella's house. Cinderella was very happy to see the king's carriage in front of the house. Right when she was about to leave her room, her stepmother appeared at the door. The prince men said, It is the prince's orders that every girl in the kingdom must try this shoe. Cinderella first stepsister tried the shoe on, and it was very tight. Next, her second stepsister tried the shoe on, and it was very loose. Finally, Cinderella tried the shoe on, now everybody was in shock because it fitted her perfectly. Young lady, are you the owner of this shoe? Cinderella nodded. Yes. Then you must come to the palace with us. Cinderella went to the castle with the prince's men, and they took her in front of the prince. Right when he looked in her eyes, the prince knew it was her who danced with him that night. I finally found you my princess, would you marry me? With tears in her eyes from happiness, she accepted the prince's offer. They got married and lived happily ever after.